February 10th, 2013, and I purchased some Pacific Salmon, and this is King Salmon. This is the best of the best of the salmon. You can see it's very expensive, and I picked it up in .36 weight. And there it is. My thumb is about, I'd say, an inch. So, let's see what it tests. And what I did is I put it in a plastic bag so I don't contaminate the counter but it's as close as it can get the salmon so let's see what's up with it February 10 2013 and this is my first 100 minute test on the King Salmon Wild King Salmon. First test, I'm, I got 6,000 seconds. Total count, 3,627. Eight count, max data point. And the average data point is 0 0.60. February 10, 2013. And here's the second 100-minute reading on the King Salmon, Wild Pacific Salmon, and it's the 6,000 minutes, and the total count was 3,516, five count high, and the average data point was .59. February 11, 2013. Here's the third test on the salmon, the king salmon, for 100 minutes. It's 6,000 seconds. And this time I got 3,713 counts. Five count max high. Average data point, 0.62. February 11th, 2013, and this is the fourth test on the King Salmon. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,652 is the total count, 6 count high, average sheet of point is 0.61. February 12, 2013 is the King Salmon, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and we're getting 3,674 counts, max data point is 5, average data point is .61. All right. This is all I wanted to show you. This is what I want to show you how I tested all this stuff. I put the salmon, which is only about one inch strip, because I don't want to spend too much money on it, but I put it in the plastic bag and I placed it on the Geiger counter right on the back side of it all the tests so right now what I'm going to do is take off the salmon 
and do the background now. So the Geiger counter has been in this position for every test. And now I'm going to pull the bag off and do a background. So I try to get as accurate a uh, read as I can get. So let's do a background and see what it tests. But normally for the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, it's about 0.50. So let's see what's up. February 12, 2013. And here's the background for the King Salmon. And there's the 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 2,975 counts, 5 count high. And just what I suspected, the average data point is 0.50. My conclusion on the King Salmon is even though it weighs about a third of a pound, the Geiger counter is still picking up 1.25 times above background radiation. So it's definitely picking something up and it's definitely picking up out of the salmon. So this is just another test to compare to others to see if the situation will be getting better or worse in the future. And remember, I don't think they're really testing seafood, so it's a gamble. There's a lot of fish out there, and some could be more contaminated than others, but I am not going to eat it anymore for probably forever. So that's just what I'm doing. you got to worry about what you want to do yourself. As you can see, I did five tests, and they all are almost exactly in the same range so it seems to be a pretty accurate reading to me even with the bag with the uh, salmon in it because the bag may even be uh, shielding some form of radiation also I don't know about you but I'm not buying that eating low levels of radiation is not dangerous to your health I am definitely picking up some radiation in the seafood right here this king salmon why I would eat it because some agency tells me that it's alright and safe to eat low levels of radiation I just don't buy it I just don't think that it's safe to eat low levels of plutonium or uranium or cesium or iodine 137 or whatever all those numbers are I just don't think it's safe so that's my reason for not eating any of the seafood anything out of the Pacific Ocean I think is tainted background king salmon background king salmon background king salmon background king salmon